It's early, guys. Will you focus? Yeah, like 6 a.m. early. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica. I try to put out beauty and makeup related videos every Monday and Friday. This video is really exciting for me. It is my very first project pan that I am putting up on this YouTube channel, and it is a pan that palette for 2018. I will give credit where credit is due. LS was the channel that really inspired me to begin panning my makeup, so I'll go ahead and link her down below. In the past, I have hit pan on a couple of products and a couple of eyeshadows, but never an entire palette. So my goal for this project is really just to hit pan on each one of these shadows. And I did pick a palette that was more neutral, a little bit, um, I don't, don't want to say on the safe side, but a, a little bit of a safer choice for a pan that palette. I chose the Marc Jacobs Iconic, what is this? The Marc Jacobs Style Icon Number no. 7 in the color Lolita. This is what the palette looks like. We have three mattes over here. This one is a pretty glittery shade. I will have swatches a little bit later on. Um, this one is a satin, and then these two are metallics. Now, it is a very neutral palette, um, but it is one that I know that I will reach for every day. And it is one that hasn't been getting enough love in my collection. So while going through all my palettes, I saw this one and I thought, this is the one that I want to pan. I'm pretty sure that the Lolita palette is discontinued. I did buy this at TJ Maxx for $19.99 a couple of months ago, and I wasn't able to find this one online officially either through Sephora or through the Marc Jacobs website. I will go ahead and insert swatches right here of all the shades. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades. As we went over, three of them are matte, four of them are the other finishes, either the glitter, the satin, or the metallic. Now the only shade that I find myself um, thinking is going to be a bit of an issue is this really middle um, like glitter shade. It doesn't really swatch really well as you'll see in the swatches, but I mean it is really pretty. You just really need to work with it. I have it on my lids today. I did use this palette today, but I did have to use a glitter glue and you can really only use it on the lid. So the rest of these shadows, I can see myself either working into the crease or working into the outer V or, you know, really using them more than one way, but that one middle shade you can really only use on your lid. So I do see that being the most challenging um, shadow to use in this palette, but I'm excited about, you know, the project as a whole. I couldn't really find um, shade names for any of these, either online or on the packaging or anything. So I am going to just um, either number them 1 through 7 or just point out, you know, this is the matte cream shade, this is the tan transition shade. Um, but in future updates, I will probably just name them, you know, number 1 through number 7. And as you can see right now, none of them really have a good dip in them yet. I have used the cream shade and the transition shade quite a bit, and I've dipped into the metallics. Um, but these darker shades and this little pink, almost duochrome shade, hasn't gotten a lot of love yet. So this is the first look at the palette. So I am really excited about this project. I will be doing monthly check-ins on this. Um, like I said before, my goal is just to hit pan on every shadow, but if I could use this up completely by the end of 2018, I would be ecstatic. And I think that's everything for this introductory video. Go ahead and let me know down below if it is your first time panning something. I would love to get to know other people that are, you know, just starting on the panning journey. Because while I know other YouTubers and really admire them, I don't really see a whole lot of beginners at this point. So I would love to connect with more beginners. And even if you're not a beginner, if you are panning a palette or you're panning anything this year, go ahead and let me know down below. I would love to connect more with the panning community at large and with other people that are inspired to use up their makeup. So thank you for joining me. I'm really excited about this project and I can't wait to see where 2018 is going to take us. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and that you'll subscribe if you like my content and you want to see more updates about the Marc Jacobs Pan That Palette Challenge and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!